Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is my channel So Sarah Sewed. In today's video I'd love to share with you my plans for making in December. Now when I made my plans for November I thought I was being realistic but it turns out I actually didn't even end up making everything on my plans for November. So I'm going to try and be even more realistic in December so I don't have too many plans today. Um, I'm pretty busy over the next few weeks. I have um, some school graduations at my work. Um, I've got my son's kinder graduation. Um, we've got you know, kinder picnic and uh, all sorts of different events happening. So trying not to put too much pressure on myself as we lead up to Christmas. Also, It's been a very warm day here in Melbourne today um, and it was my day off. So um, I'm wearing my Stellan tee, which is a free pattern by French Navy. And I made it in this uh, very uh, fun, cotton jersey from Dupes Designs. Um, I make it in a size large. I've made a few of these t-shirts and um, yeah, I think I like the fit in the size large on me. Um, I wore it with my Miller trousers by Paper Theory in just a, um, a linen cotton blend that I bought from Spotlight. I, I actually made these pants on Boxing Day last year along with an identical pair in a dusty pink color. And I would have worn them almost every single day of January, I think. They get so much wear and I'm already reaching for them again on warm days this year. Um, so I know I'll get a, a whole lot of wear out of them over this summer as well. I like the fit of them, especially at the front. The back is a little bit um, saggy and I am considering trying some free range pants um, at some point as well. Um, if you've got an exp any experience um, with those two patterns and um, you know, can ad advise me as to whether the free range slacks might be uh, less saggy around the bottom, um, I'd love to hear any experiences. So just a few plans this month. Now the first one is I'm going to make some t-shirts for my husband. I have never made him anything before, um, but he is uh, his t-shirts are looking a little worse for wear, so I thought I might give that a go. I'm going to be using the Sage Tee, which is a free pattern by LB Textiles, and it is just a very relaxed fit t-shirt. It comes in quite a big range of sizes, and I'm going to be using um, some bamboo that I bought from my design. Now, when I asked my husband what colours he would like his t-shirts in, I think he said, oh, maybe just black and white, but I thought I'd I would get him a white one, but also do um, something a little bit more interesting. So the other one I chose was this one. Um, it's called Paprika, I think on their website. It's got a beautiful um, dark orange color. And I think that will work really, really nicely. So um, I'm looking forward to making that first up. I cut out my paper pattern pieces last night. So I'm ready to cut out the, uh, the fabric pieces and get started on that hopefully in the next couple of days. So I'll be making two of those, one in this color and one in just a white, but they are um, yeah, both the same fabric from my design. The next item I'm looking forward to making in December was actually in my November sewing plans, but I never got around to making it. And it is the Sandpiper Swimsuit from Helen, Helen's Closet Patterns. Now, I guess there are a couple of reasons why this got bumped to the bottom of the list and wasn't one of my priorities for November. The first one was that I, I knew I wasn't going to be swimming really in November. And the second one was, it's just a little bit intimidating still. I've never made swimsuit a swimsuit before. I've never made any kind of active wear before. And I do have a friend at work who has um, made some other bathers and she said inserting the elastic was quite a challenge for her. So I'm a little bit nervous about it. So I'm going to try and make two of these this month because I do want to make a toile. I'm not going to go straight into using my real fabric for this one. So the toile is just this fabric that I bought from the Remnant Warehouse. And I did talk about this one in my November plans video, but I haven't used it yet. And the actual material that I'm looking forward to making is this one. Now this was a swimsuit fabric I bought from a company called, called Material Difference, which is a company based here in Australia and it's mainly, um, it's run and mainly stocks fabrics by an artist called Casey Rainbow. But every month they also feature an artist. So um, there's a new artist's designs added each month, just three or four designs from each of these artists. And then they are um, exclusively licensed to material difference for the next six months, I think. 
So this one was, I think it was added in August or September. I can't really remember, but it was, I did buy it a couple of months ago. And it is uh, by an artist called Julie Harrison and her, her business name is called Pattern Play Studio. And when you order from Material Difference, first of all, you get to order, um, you get to choose the scale of your print. So there's four different um, options for that. Mini, midi, maxi, something else. Not really, I can't remember. And you also get to decide what fabric um, base you would like it printed on. So there are a whole lot of options for that. Um, and then, yeah, obviously I chose the Swim Lycra. The, the turnaround between ordering and receiving your fabric is about six weeks. So they do an order every at, at the end of every month. So um, any orders you put in um, at the first of the month won't get, actually get put through until the end of the month. Um, and then after the end of the month, it's about six weeks until you receive your fabric. So yeah, I'm, I think I put my order in at the end of August and I received my, my order in the middle of October. So this has been with me for a little while and I'm I'm definitely planning to make the Helen's Closet Sandpiper Swimsuit this month. The Sandpiper Swimsuit has uh, is a two-piece swimsuit and has quite good coverage, which is one of the things that appealed to me, as well as the fact that Helen has suggested that it's a really good first swimsuit pattern to try and sew yourself. There are a couple of views that you can mix and match. So there's a crop top, and a, a, just a, a small brief pant, or you can add an extra band to the top and a waistband as well. So I'll be choosing the option that has the lower, the lower band on the top and the higher waistband on the bottom as well. This pattern is available from sizes zero to 34, which is up to a 62 inch chest or hip measurement. My measurements put me around a size 12 top and a size 14 bottom. So that's where I'm going to start with my toile and I'll take it from there. Now I did buy quite a bit of this material because I would like to make a matching rash vest as well. So I bought the Grace rash vest pattern from Swim Style Patterns and it has a couple of different options with this pattern. So you can make it as a full swimsuit, like completely a one piece, um, but I'm just gonna make the top version um, with chunky zipper and then it's also got two sleeve lengths as well and I think I'll make the full length sleeve version. I do find myself um, spending long days at the beach over the summer with my children and I don't often get the chance just to be undercover. I'm pretty much standing in the shallows the whole time so I really do want good sun protection and not have to worry about um, putting a whole lot of sunscreen everywhere. Uh, so the rash vest will be really handy for that. Yeah, I think this one's listed as an intermediate pattern. And I think once I've made the swimsuit and sort of get used to sewing with this kind of material that I should sort of gain a bit more confidence in those techniques. From the line drawings, you can probably see that there are options for color blocking with this pattern. So I am hoping if I do have any of this uh, twelve material left, I bought this online, so I wasn't sure if it would be a complete match, but it kind of matches that little flower there. So I might use it for some of the panels on the side, um, just to give a little bit more interest in braids, so it's not too much of just this floral in the in the rash top as well. So I haven't bought my chunky zip yet, but apart from that, I am ready to go with this one too. But I think it'll be swimsuit first and then rash vest that I make. So they're really my plans for December. I'd also like to make a gift for my son's school teacher and I'm thinking about making the Costa Tote by Helen's Closet Patterns which is a free pattern on her website. Uh, I think a fabric bag does come in handy especially carrying things to and from work and I think having a handmade gift from a student uh, does help you to remember them a little bit and is hopefully quite meaningful. So I'll try and get onto that. I've read some um, reviews of the pattern that say it comes together really quickly. So. I should be able to fit that one in as well. So I'm going to leave that as my main uh, my main sewing goals for December. And if I do end up getting more things done, then it's a bonus. I actually might have a couple of um, secret sewing plans as well that I can't actually reveal until after Christmas. So look out for my uh, December makes video to see what I'm talking about with that one. I hope you all have a wonderful December. I know I'm really looking forward to tomorrow when I can start opening my advent calendar windows. 
very exciting. I've been counting down to December. Can't wait to open the first window in there. Thank you to everyone who leaves comments and likes, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later. Thank you.